Hey guys, today we're gonna be putting out pipe to the chickens and the sheep, and we're gonna put ends on that and stuff. We'll show you that in a second. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, comment down below, and share with everyone you know. Okay, let's get started. All right, um, so like Emmy said, we need to put ends on our, our pipe. We have three rolls of pipe here. I don't know how many feet's on this one. Pretty close to probably 300, I'm guessing. I don't know. And then we have this pipe here. There's 500 feet in these rolls. Um, so we're going to go ahead and spool out two rolls here for the chickens. Because here in... A few days we're going to be putting a mobile fence behind the TP chicken tractor and she's going to need lots of pipe. Okay guys, I got a question for you and um, you know, leave leave a comment down in the comment section. Um, our videos, I've always edited them. And like to make a, a 10 minute video, I shoot usually about 40 minutes of footage. And, and to me, within hopes to make you a higher quality or a better, better video. Now I see a lot of the regenerative, the new regenerative guys out there, they're just doing it Greg Judy style, just pointing and talk for 10 minutes and call it good um let me know if uh if you want me to do that i can i can do that but i think that the way we're doing it now um creates a better video um just just let me know in a comment section below i'd, I'd really appreciate your input that thing's going to move about 50 or 60 feet a day so um let's go ahead and do that go ahead and put these ends on so we're going to do our ends a little bit differently with these. Uh, we're using pipe that's only rated at, that one there is rated at 59 PSI. This one here is rated at uh, 70 PSI. Now this is a really cheap, inexpensive way to put a lot of pipe out to your animals and keep them mobile. Um, this pipe here. I went on, I don't know, drip irrigation or drip depot or irrigation supply. And I had the order all put together, ready to check out. And it was like a hundred and, I don't know, $130 or something. And then I got to the shipping and they wanted $90 to ship these two rolls. And I checked it on another location and the same thing so i know a lot of folks don't like amazon but this is the case with amazon i went on amazon and i bought both these rolls with the shipping for 87 dollars um, it was on sale i'll put the links down below um to to these um and i also put the links whenever we're using this pipe i like to use pressure reducers uh, we're not in it for a really high flow um, we're just in it to get water to the animals and for like the sheep and the chickens we don't need a lot of water we just need some water so um, I have these are this is a pressure regulator it's 15 psi and Emmy should already have a 15 psi pressure regulator on and then this here is an end for on the tubing um, it goes on pretty easy you just uh, <laughs> maybe huh oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe might have to use the rain bird to use these on the rain bird water yeah just put that on there like that and then put that on 
and then you just basically tighten this down and then your pressure regulator goes on there just like that um, pretty simple pretty easy setup these pressure regulators with those ends on them was like 12 or 15 bucks for two of them uh, so um, I guess we'll go ahead and use the standard hose clamps on those M. Yep. So we're going to use this type of hose clamp on these because um, they're nor notorious for leaking. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll put the male end on first and then uh, just to give it a little bit of cushion to give it just a little bit of cushion we're going to put a couple wraps of black tape which will help prevent cutting of the, the pipe and these pipes aren't pipes that are going to be moved around a lot you know, it's not like they're going from field to field to field to field because um, the chickens and the sheep stay in specific fields for a pretty long time. Make sure that we got that on there. Yeah. Go ahead and tighten that up. Doesn't need to be real tight. Okay, now. I guess it would be about 60 bucks for 500 feet of water line. Um, it's cheaper than what I can buy a 100 foot garden hose for. Okay, um, I'll yell when you get there. Try to keep it off of where you're gonna run your side by side. We're just using half inch for this because we don't need the water flow. Okay, um, I do not know how many feet that was. Skinny. Oh, it flew in the trees. I think when you were walking back, it flew to the trees. Okay. You want to take the camera with you? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to lay this outside of the trail where we run the buggy so we don't run over it all the time. Man, there's some spiky plants in here. You can see the chicken tractors all the way out there. We still have a couple hundred more feet to go. It's a lot longer than that one over there good exercise, that's for sure. Right past the chicken track, you can see the chickens in there. Tessie, we're getting down. No. Okay. 
my dad just told me to stop her. Okay, we're at the end. That is officially 500 feet. It's quite far. I'll show you the chickens real quick. There's the chickens in there. See them in our chicken dogs. I think there's four dogs out here. And these are the chicks we got this year. There's 60 of them because of the mama that hatched out hers. We have another set of chicks inside the barn right now. There's 11 of them. Mother sat her nest and hatched them out. Second time for the year, which is very impressive for her. Come on, Tessie. And then we have 300 more chicks shipped um, on the 24th. So they'll be here probably the 25th, which is quite exciting. I think dad got me some Easter eggers and possibly olive eggers as well. the dogs. I believe Paige is tied in the buggy so that she isn't there. It's quite, quite nice. This is a nice field. Other than the Perkers, it's a pretty nice field. Yeah. I have 200 foot pipes and then I have, uh, I don't know, that garden hose we fixed. Uh, we might want to bring that pipe back and replace this green one with that black pipe. We might want to do that. Okay. Yeah, I yeah can... let's do that because yeah. that pipe can take a little bit more. This is a little heavier duty. Than that. Okay, I mean sheep were out here earlier because they were out of feed. So, um... She got them back in, and we got her her a new hose. It's 500 feet, uh, just black plastic. It hooks into a, a, a hydrant over there. You can see the green hose, and it's over there. And then uh, show them in what that's the flow that we're getting out of a half inch, 500 foot. 15 PSI hose So that's more than sufficient for sheep Or for the amount of sheep that we had now if we had 10,000 sheep that might be different, but yeah, yeah. So but go ahead and hook that up em Because they're drinking because they were out all day Those are my little baby pliers that I carry in my pocket. They really sure do come in handy Oh, we got a new camera too. Um, it's uh, 8K, which makes it a lot. It's supposed to make it a lot better. I don't know. We'll see. But what do you guys think? Is it any better? There was the sheep and um, its black pipe. We got the chickens and the sheep done. Um, I hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell comment down below and share with everyone you know. Bye guys. See ya.